And as soon as I get to work, conversation's over. Now it's time for patience. And now the real show can begin. I love my job. And so I get to work and patients waiting, I get in the room. You know, there are days when people ask me, Songozi, why are you a doctor? How did you know you were supposed to be a doctor? What would you do if you were not a doctor? And I can't remember anything I'd rather be. I can't remember ever wanting to be anything else. And the reason I love my job the way it is right now is because my patients learn from me, but I also learn from them. So let me give you an example. So I'm at work and this happened this week. My 48 year old patient, she comes in, she's had acid reflux for a couple of years and I see her maybe once a year. And she told me this week that this has been the best year of her life. She's finally been able to get to the point where she admits that I have to be intentional about what I eat and when I eat the right things and don't eat late at night and I take my medicine like my doctor says, I feel great. It was awesome. And I know that this sounds very easy for a lot of people, but it's not doing the right thing one day or two days. It's the consistency of it, doing this every single day. So she made me so happy. And then I had another 79-year-old gentleman. He's always so upbeat. And this week I saw him and I thought, Mr. So-and-so, why are you always this upbeat? I forgot he was 79 years old. And you know what he told me? He told me that the secret was always growing, always learning something new. So this month, he and his wife are taking a writing class.